Hi, here is Klaas Nienhuis. Um, I want to show you how to make a configurator with Sketchfab. And uh, you may have seen this. Um, you can configure your model within Sketchfab. And I'm going to do this with uh, 3ds Max. Here we go. I've downloaded a Stormtrooper. I've split the model up in, uh, in, in sections, the armor, the, the body, arms, helmet, etc. And each relevant section I've given a multi-sub object material. For the armor, it's, uh, it's called armor. It has five sub-materials and each sub-material will be an option. Uh, you can pick and I've made the one for the helmet and one for the padding uh, and so on and so on. Here's my uh, publisher. It will publish the model to Sketchfab and it will generate a web page for you um, with the configurator in it. It's that easy. Uh, well, let's select the models, publish it, I'll save the scene. Exporting, publishing, uploading, done. And uh, so let's see if we can find it. Uh, where is it? Uh, here it is. Well, there's your stormtrooper. Uh, it's all done with the diffuse colors at the moment, so there's no baking or whatever. It's very simple, but uh, well, let's change the eyes. Boom, red eyes. That's nice. The armor, maybe a camouflage. And the padding. I think the line will be good. Uh, helmets. Well, that's a cool looking stormtrooper. Uh, well, change it up. Uh, well, you get the ID. Um, a configurator instantly um, with basic material editing properties at the moment.